Hello, 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 YouTube. It is I, the Amazing Kitty. As I hope this with another YouTube video and today. I'm going to be talking about all the, about about a um about a um one of these Ukraine memes. Well, it's not going to be this meme, but it'll be a meme. But this one's kind of funny. But it is um, this meme. And I'm going to be summarizing what this meme is actually saying. It's not a false equivalency like, like some people want to make it sound like. The purpose of the militia is for the citizens to defend themselves. From individual to whole nation when the governmental army can't or won't provide such defense. Regulate means to control or maintain the rate of speed of a machine or process so that it operates properly. To bear meaning to carry arms aka weapons and ammunition. To bear arms number one to carry or be equipped with weapons and number two to serve as a combatant in the armed forces against such threats foreign and domestic. Foreign meaning invading army like for instance Russia invading Ukraine. You, the Ukrainians don't need javelin missiles. You know it's kind of when you hear people say things like that. I mean, I never, I'd rather you don't ever hear people say that, but you never know. You never know when when a Spas Twelve might come in handy. In my honest, in my opinion, you, you know, allowing people the ability to to have the tools to defend themselves. That's basically what this. Um, meme is really talking about. It's not talking about... I've, I've heard some people say that, oh, some crack uh, meth head in a... Crack, crack meth head in a Florida... Florida owning a AR-15. Yeah, I've heard her shooting up a black school or a, a church full of black people versus Ukrainians. I've heard that stereotype said about AR-15 owners. That's not necessarily true. Because I knew an... I know an AR-15 owner. I actually own someone who owns an AR-15. I think he still owns it. But... You know, but as I said, but as I, I have stated many times, is that we should, we could, in the future, find ourselves in a similar situation. I mean, that's why you should allow people to own such weapons like a Spas 12. Because, or an AR, and you shouldn't tell people that you don't need an AR-15, because you never know. The future, can things can change real quickly. You know, the Second Amendment was designed to protect us from the dragons and their obsession with gold and every shiny thing. Yeah, it was meant to protect us from, from the smells of this world, i.e. Vladimir Putin. And I think similar rules to the Second Amendment, which might exist in other countries, should exist. I hope Ukraine actually has a rule like this, because that's a very good rule. Domestic meaning state or even federal, or even the federal government. Infringe meaning an act so as to limit or undermine something, encroach on what part of shall not be infringed do politicians not understand in the event of a Maduro style government happens what good is a weapon without ammo or left with what amounts to be a BB gun? 
when compared to the tyrannical government. See, the tyrannical government has probably more weapons than they could possibly challenge other people. And so, the whole idea of arming the, the populace with what, what, uh, what an invading army has makes a lot of sense. You know, the people screaming that this is a false equivalency do not understand what this actual meme is saying. You know, those who say that you don't need an, you don't need an AR-15 do not know how quickly the, the shit can hit the fan. Not to mention shocking, stocking up on food. Food. You don't have to own an AR-15, but you should. After all, an army is only as good as its tools, is the old saying. Insurance policies for the unforeseen events. The Constitution is our insurance policy. And similar rules which may exist in other countries, which allow for that, that basically support this idea that you should have the means of defending yourself and the means of defending yourself against an army, an invading army, is to have the same tools. Or, or, even, or even your local, your local national military. If and when they, they, they're used against you. One can't trust the individual carrying the gun. And the other can't trust that someone will abide by the... That someone... Will not... Will, cannot trust that someone will not abide by the rules. It is an issue... Uh, it is an issue of human nature. This is indeed an issue of faith. In theory, I understand the no-guns policy that allow us to say schools and especially banks have, and I agree with it in theory, but in practice, in a world where people don't always follow the rules, that, they, that does not make sense. But, you know, what can you do? It is, it is like, do unto others what you would like done unto you. You don't always get the result you want. I, w I would rather see the school districts and banks have control over the allowance of guns in their establishments rather than the state or even worse, the country, and especially the government. You know, talking about the greater, like, rules... And I've talked about this time and time again on my channel. I just wanted to make the bring up this point. 